welcome to a new video so just to address the current situation on my face i've just dyed my eyebrows i did facial cupping if you don't know what that is there is a video on my channel just search my name and facial cupping and also i put some spot gel on i don't have this many spots um but i just any slight like thing or red thing on my face i just put some of this on i only do this once a week so yeah i don't know it's probably not good for my skin to put this much spot treatment on it but i'm doing it and i'm gonna wash it off in like half an hour's time usually you'd leave it on overnight but i just leave it on for half an hour i am currently about to clean my house with Zaflora and um mixed with water and scent the rooms with it and i've had a bit of a tidy up this morning i need to clean my bunny's cage out and another thing Another thing that happened, basically, I have my bunnies in their indoor cage now inside in, instead of outside because I don't want them to get cold. And they can get quite noisy in the mornings, like they're fine throughout the night, they're asleep like I am. But in the mornings they wake up and they start gnawing at their cage because they want to, me to let them out. And I never let them out when they do that because I don't want them to think that that's what they should do for me to let them out. But this morning they were so loud and I didn't want the man next door to like just wake up from that. So I let them out of the cage. <laughs> And I thought, I'll try and go back to sleep. Well, I tried to go back to sleep and they started fighting in the room and one of them leaped onto my head whilst I was trying to sleep. And I have three scratches on my face. I don't know if you can see like here. So I'll show you properly like after I've taken this off, but that was not fun. I literally was so like, what the hell is going on? They don't usually jump on the bed and it like jumped on my face. So yeah, I've got three scratches from its claw. Um, I don't know which, bunny that was whether that was Rodney or Ralph but either way I put one back in the cage and I put the other one in the bathroom just to keep them separate for a bit but they do fight a lot but then they also are really friendly I'll insert a video of them like being really cute with each other now because it is quite adorable um yeah So I have taken off my um, skincare product stuff and I've just been tidying up and stuff like I said and actually the reason why I'm vlogging today is because I literally have struggled with motivation for filming videos but when it comes to vlogs I'm fine with that so I'm just gonna vlog like on the weekends because I do enjoy videoing still because this is like my hobby but today me and my family are off to Sheffield to take my brother back to uni because he goes to Sheffield uni and I think we're gonna have a meal out for lunch so I just thought I would vlog random stuff I'm gonna show you in a second where I have placed all my autumn decor I did an autumn haul go and watch that if you haven't seen that and I bought a lot of like autumn related ornaments and things so I'll show you just roughly where I put them um, and then I need to head off um, to go to my parents for us to then drive on to Sheffield but yeah um this is the scratch on my face by the way it actually looks a lot more red in person than it does on camera but yeah how rude and i cleaned the bunnies out as well i cleaned their cage out just now um i'll show you them quickly before i go but yeah i'll just show you the autumn decor so this is my living room if you haven't already seen my house tour go and watch that video but in the window I have these new little bits and bobs so all three of these are things that were in my haul and I just popped them in this window I really like how this like looks like that and this is gonna stay out past autumn I'm not gonna pack it away for next year because that's just like an everyday thing sorry about the noise of the washing machine um then I've got this little pumpkin guy here and this pumpkin there and I think that's everything for like autumn decor in this room um please excuse everything sorry that is really annoying also also I've just seen 
this bottle of apple sours, um, cherry sours, sorry. Basically, a few years ago, my brother bought a bottle of apple sours. Like, when I say a few years ago, it could have been like five years ago, I don't even know. Um, it was me, him, and my cousin Dylan, and we had just like a few shots, like, we was young. Um, and since then I said, I'll buy the next bottle that we have. And I thought that I would get it like the next month maybe, but it's been five years probably. And here we are. So I finally actually bought Tommy a bottle of cherry sours. So I don't know the last time he had any sours because it's kind of a drink that you drink when you're a bit younger. But this is the only shots that I actually like the taste of. Like any other shots I can't even shot them because like I'll just spit it out. I'm not good with shots at all. Um, I don't even shot sours like I don't shot apple apple sours or cherry sours I sip it nicely I love the taste of it but I bought him it so I'll give him that today before he goes um so I thought I'd just mention that don't know why it's a fascinating story so my little pumpkin ornament is in the window here it is scented and then this pumpkin mug I will use that tonight for a drink after I've washed up um and I'll show you that in action the only autumn decor that I have in my bathroom is this little pumpkin here and I think it suits the room quite nicely. I think that's cute. Please excuse any mess by the way. When you're in the process of tidying, you're in the process of tidying. This is the bunny's cage and basically I treat this as their bed. So they're not always in here. A lot of the time they are out the cage, hence the mess, but I hoover around here every single night so it's actually fine. Um, but yeah, they're out a lot. So this is where they sleep. They're in here when I'm not here or they're in here at night. But when I, whenever I'm here, I will let them out so you don't have to worry about them being cooped up. And they like it in here. This is their like safe space. Um, but yeah, which one of you scratched my face this morning? Please own up because they both look identical. So I literally had no idea. But the only autumn decor thing I have is this, which is just a little scented pumpkin ornament. Anyway, I need to crack on. I need to to flora and clean everywhere before I go very quickly. So I will see you when I'm at my mum's. Goodbye. Yeah, for a bit. I'm at my mum's and dad's and Tommy is here. Hi Tommy. Hello. Tommy, I've got you a present. You got me a present? Yeah. What for? It's four or five years too late. Four or five years too late? <laughs> hey. Can you remember? I do. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Oh, ticks. Yeah, cherry sours. <laughs> yeah, but it's, maybe it's more than four. Actually, no, it will be four. Five, it yeah. was a long time ago. I already explained about Dylan. Wait, why is it for me anyway? Because you bought the oh. apple sours one, oh. so I bought the cherry. Thank you very much, Georgie. That's all right. No worries. We're going soon. The pond is still decreasing. No, it's increased because we've got it? some rain. Yeah, uh -oh, it has actually, fair enough. Because you can actually see the mud here was poking up out the top uh, of the water and it's actually underwater now. So yeah. the fish will live for another day. The water was leaking out the pond slowly, but... Evaporating out. Sorry, evaporating. So, hot. so this is Mum's sanctuary. Yeah, I mean, the chilli plants were quite naughty in that they all fell forwards. Even though I've staked them up, they all went... So I've had to tie them up in a very peculiar fashion, but they don't seem to mind. So chilli plants do not well. But here's Georgie's pepper plants. Look at these babies. Look at these dudes. Oh, look how cool look they at are. Those. They're brilliant, aren't they? They, are so they look cool. like actual peppers. They do. <laughs> do you see how that one's sort of like got the um, stem? Uh, it's, it's yeah. sort of grown around the stem a little bit. No? And just, you know, take a moment to appreciate my my actual chilies, you know, they are... It's a little fantastic. They're feisty devils, they're KM pepper ones. What happened with the cucumbers? Is that dead? I've had about nine cucumbers off that. Where this is, is it? It's still a baby one. I had to plant it in the garden. Oh. Because it just kept growing upwards and upwards and then it's just starting. Uh. So it, it was slipping down its pole, so it wasn't supporting itself. So I put it in the garden, it's been absolutely fine been out there but I think it's had its day now there. but if you want to have a look by all means yeah. my tomatoes have practically finished now they've been I've had a good crop but yeah you can tell that they're on their way out so I've had fun in here this year it's been awesome excellent so where's this cuke actually the cuke it doesn't look too great either 
I've also got turnips and swedes planted as well as fennel and potatoes and spring onions but the turnips and swedes something's been nibbling them they uh, have been annihilated probably um, wild bunnies uh, possible yeah Fennel's doing great. I'm oh, that's the like worst that. one as well. Your favourite veg. I don't like fennel. I don't mind a little bit of a taste, but I put, ugh. I put, I put fennel seeds in nearly everything. Ah. You see, cucumber yes. plants still. You see, it's still producing its little flowers. Each little flower represents another little cucumber coming. Oh, okay. So, we'll just have to see if... Uh oh Dad's injury. just had an injury. I think he just uttered the words for fuck's sake. <laughs> you alright? What did he do? How you done it? Oh god. He got it on the blades of Freddy and he took his fingers off. It was really nasty. Jesus. He stopped bleeding. Oh. Aww. Dad, you need to be more careful. Come and tell the camera about it. We caught you on camera swearing. Ooh. So what I did was put my fingers under the mower when it was going. <laughs> Why yeah. would you do that though? Why would anybody put their hand underneath the lawnmower? <laughs> Unintentional. Because I, I thought I knew where the blades were. I had to switch it off. <laughs> that looked a hell of a lot but worse than a week ago. It, it was just spinning to a halt and I just put my fingers just under to lift it. Yeah. I needed to see which blade was working and which wasn't. But yeah. And so it what... caught my fingers. So what's happened on this occasion? Well, I was just putting that in there and then my finger caught underneath with a... Because uh, it hurt already, it, it just made it hurt more. Yeah, thing. we did quite audibly hear you swear. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I was allowed to. Yeah, something hurts. Going. Yeah. We're in the Nav. Cheer. See you there. Cheer. 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 Off we go, pads. We've just been to weather spoons um i don't know why my face is so red but i was laughing at something funny that happened well how um, you explain because it was quite funny oh <laughs> basically this guy that was sat on another table um he got up for some reason and i just happened to see and it, his shorts got caught on his chair um and like but most of his shorts were pulled down and you could see his bare bare bum um and it was quite funny because i seen him turn around to look and see if anyone saw which obviously i saw um but i didn't i didn't um i looked away um but yeah i thought that was funny i will insert a picture of what food i got it was a barbecue burger i actually brought half of it home with me in tupperware um which i always do that when i go out um or i try to um take tupperware for anything i don't have um so i can have it another time but it enabled georgie to have a dessert yeah i always do that I have half of my meal there or nearly half and take half home and then it means that i can get pudding whilst i'm there and i don't feel well i do actually feel quite full i was gonna say cars don't waste food no, that's our food. last name. Oh yeah, my channel's Georgie Car. But yeah. We're on the road now to Sheffield. We're on the road again. Me and Mum are in this car. Yeah, we're and going, going through Brig. Tommy and Dad are in Tommy's car. And then on the way back, Dad's going to come into this car. Cool. Oh, I see. So that whole like that one, Tommy's new room. Yep. Looking but good. It's, it's quite warm here, I think. It is at the top of the house. I like your desk area. We'll get all this stuff unpacked. Do you think that's No, it just hits on the tight. If you want to be able to black it out. Yeah, brilliant. I think what it is, look, Tommy, it sticks down the bottom. Oh, then, then it, yeah, yeah. So I probably won't have it uh, down. I'll just leave it over. Oh, just because it'll hang back. Well, it did the other night. I don't want to live in fear. Yeah, I thought. 
feel the fear, face your fear. Mm. I think if you got used to it, it'd be fine. But I don't want these open no. too hot now. Well, that radiator is on top. Do you want to participate? Yeah. I've never been able to floss. Can you do this? Yeah, see this. I reckon that would that right there. Mm. Yeah, pretty much. To oh. stop this from pinging. Yeah. Um, well, that's a nice thing. Well, that's a nice thing. Yeah. Come on. Mm. Right. Mm. Do you want to give me a hand with stuff in your car? Sure. Uh, that when you sit down on this chair, it makes a strange noise. <sighs> or is that just your ass? Speed cleaning with mum. Oh, doing what mums always end up doing. I can't tell you how many times I change beds. <laughs> not Tommy, not these days. Or me. <laughs> or you, no. So, basically a liar. Huh? You're a liar. I haven't a holiday left. <laughs> True. So shush. Wee. There's a lot of blue tech in this room, which means the person that was previously in here put a lot of stuff on the walls and it's around the desk. So I'm assuming it was revision material. This is a nice room. I like the desk area. I like this chair as well, even though it's not supportive of your back very much. I've, I've shown you outside. I have actually, yeah. How's it goes? Oh, okay. Done that. I'll have a look at the bathroom then. What's happened to the bathroom? Damn. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> we are the team. Where did you get your varsity jumper? Um, the varsity. Rowing club. Tommy Kerr. Sheffield Uni. A rowing club. Right, Mum. We come downstairs, they go upstairs. Yeah. That's about right, isn't it? <laughs> Scavenger. That's not much in here. No, because there's only one person. That looks a healthy top shelf. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. <laughs> what, are you a dietitian? Well, no, I mean, don't want to cast aspersion at students. You tend to think it's just going to be frozen pizza all the way, don't you? Baked beans. Yeah. We've got chicken breast in here. We've got, uh, I think they're bread lunch. We've got actually yogurts. There's uh, one of those long sweet peppers. <laughs> And the bell pepper, the spring onions. I'm impressed. <laughs> Absolutely fantastic. Yeah. Are we going shortly? Tom's got an avocado. Avocado. Right, have two avocados. This past the bus station. It's about Ooh, half past six. So we'll be back by like eight ish. Yeah, it should be. It's about hour and twenty to get home. And apparently, I Dad's got some logs for me for my wood burner. Do you think you'll put them in stuff? My That's stove. Fun, um, if not, I can come and pick them up tomorrow. Yeah, you're not a million miles away. No, I live two minutes, well not even that, I live one minute drive away from my parents. Yes, yeah, she does. She couldn't best be apart from us. Missed us. It was, it was just depressing. Can we just uh, appreciate the glory of this mug? <laughs> no, we can't. <laughs> Could you imagine? <laughs> We've just got in the car to go home. It's a bit getting a bit dark. Dad, will we have time for that wood or not? Um, if not, I can come tomorrow. Uh, well, we'll see. see it will be pitch black by the time we get home. We can do it tomorrow because I can just come around after work. I'm going to give the bunnies some cabbage and some carrots. However, I don't want them to jump out of the cage and they've made a mess whilst I've been gone. So there is a chance one of them will try to jump out at me. Okay. Want to be sneaky. Oi, put your paws back in. One of them grabbed the cabbage. I think he likes cabbage. I think he wants to come out. You can come out after you've had your cabbage. I'll let them have a run round because obviously I've been out all day. 
but they can eat their cabbage and carrot first. So I am now back home in my house. I um, have got my pumpkin mug. I couldn't think of anything right there. What I was, oh my God, my I am so tired. I was gonna say, I couldn't think what to say, but yeah, I've got my pumpkin mug. I'm just gonna get one of my coasters Ooh, to put that on. You could use that cup for like soup or something. Um, but yeah, I really like my coasters, they're nice and pop that on there and then i can have that whilst i watch netflix i've got this really comfy cozy thing on i'm gonna show you it from afar so i can show it properly like look how cozy this is it literally goes like down past my knees it's so cozy and there's a big pocket here in a hood so it's perfect it's like a blanket and a hoodie in one and i wear this so much like a concerning amount of times I will wear this. Um, I literally hate it when I have to wash it. So there we go. But yeah, that is the end of this video. I will end this video here. It's pretty long. I think I filmed quite a lot. But yeah, thank you for watching. We managed to drop everybody, everybody. We managed to drop Tommy off in Sheffield at his new place. He's not actually like lived in that accommodation before. So yeah, it looks pretty decent. But anyway, I've got work tomorrow. So I'm gonna have my cup of tea, watch Netflix, and then head up to bed. Actually, I'm gonna let the bunnies out for a little bit because I need to wear them out before bedtime so that they actually sleep through the night and they're not waking me up in the morning and then attacking me. <laughs> Um, I think the scratches have actually gone down quite a lot, which is good, um, bless them, but yeah, they do fight because they are brothers, but then they also cuddle a lot, um, but yeah, they're fine, it's normal behaviour from, from bunnies, especially as they're brothers, but anyway, thanks for watching, I will see you in next week's video, which will probably be another vlog, I'm not sure, but yeah, I'll see you then.